Good morning. Uh, I hope all is well. So, welcome to your daily reading for tomorrow. It is June 23rd. These are going to be for June 24th. It could apply to you today. Um, it is 5 19 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get these pre recorded so I can get them to you guys at least by noon or 1230 this afternoon. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to start off with passing. Okay. okay. I don't. Okay. Passing, what you need to know? And how are you? What does Passing need to know for tomorrow? You need to be in your attracting energy and trust in a higher power because if you take the bait, you'll be in a never-ending story with whoever this is. Whether it's love, whether it's a job, you don't chase, you attract tomorrow to stop you from getting into an unhealthy karmic cycle with a person or a situation that just ain't right for you. So trust in God, trust in spirit, and you attract or you will be, you'll regret it. Let's just say that. What's going on with your finances? Don't make, oh, okay, you could be receiving a gift. If you are a boss or like in charge or like work for yourself, it's going to be an auspicious time for you. Uh, you may come up with some real good ideas and make progress in a business plan or as a leader or make some huge contrib contribution to your team. I see you getting some type of generosity, uh, some type of help, maybe even financial support. If you're planning for a trip, today would be a good day to do it. You might get a deal on something. But I see it being like lucky, like not extremely lucky, but situations not being much of an obstacle for you that very well could be. What is your um, romance? Okay, free yourself from one situation. Make the effort for another situation because you deserve love. And I also had religious factors here. So I don't know if you like to date people outside your race, but you might find what you want dating, you know, casting your net further. And it could be as early as this up and coming holiday and somebody may want your forgiveness. And just know that it's safe for you to love. If you have unforgiveness in your heart, it's time for you to let it go. All right, I hope this helps you. Thank you. All right, Aquarius, how are you? Let's see what's going on with you for tomorrow. Uh-oh, milk and honey for tomorrow. An orphan. So you may feel very successful in some areas, but feel left behind in other areas. If you can have a lot of work. You could have a lot of things going on, and I knew this was going to come. How many times do Spirit got to tell you to go lay down and go sit down somewhere? Time for a nap is here. Are y'all not listening? Like, if you don't stop, you got to pace yourself a little better. You have help from your community. You don't have nothing to prove to nobody. If you don't stop and take care of yourself, and I hope you're not just chasing money or chasing a promise or chasing something because whatever it is that you're chasing it's already yours and if you overdo it and burn yourself out you're gonna feel left behind now on another uh, another situation is what I'm getting is you can hear something from the grapevine and you may want to abandon somebody and leave them right where you know they stand if somebody is bold enough to do something in areas that they know you frequent in, they deserve to be left behind. So I hope whoever you're dealing with is not stupid. Okay, let's see what's going on with your finances. Lucky break here. 
Be careful with emotionally spending. You're going to really love your job today. And some of you guys are flat out magicians or spiritualists with Buddha here. Serving a life purpose. You're being divinely guided on a divine path. And whatever you do is worth more than money. You have spiritual wealth that you are waiting to materialize. And you already have the strategy to do it. You don't have to kill yourself or like not literally kill yourself. But de deplete yourself to get something accomplished monetarily wise. Because it's already, it's not going to speed up the process. Not, you know, it's, 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 it's happening right now, and you just have to be more patient or something like that. I don't know. Let's see what's going on with your love life. Calling in a soulmate, letting go of control issues, loving yourself first, getting to know someone while in separation from someone else. Or maybe you are learning the behaviors, the true behaviors of somebody that you've separated from. And had you not separated for them, you would have still been seeing them with that mask on their face. You're gonna see the truth of how someone really is now that you are detached from them. So that can go so many different ways. Thank you so much and have a good day. All right, Capricorn, how are you? Let's get into your messages. not for you and loyal heart y'all may find out tomorrow that you are investing in something that's not going to give you a, a good return with community and not for you and loyal heart here please don't be loyal to somebody that's loyal to the streets or loyal to something that's not being loyal for you to you because whatever this is it's just not for you it's not supposed to be for you and uh your energy is supposed to be either out into the community to meet somebody else definitely not this so tomorrow you'll be challenged to really accept what to throw away and what to keep whether it's a job a mission a person a lover it gotta go it's not for you and you cannot tie yourself to it bind yourself to it especially if it's not gonna be loyal and give to you the same thing in return okay why is uh well no finance uh fine you may be so tomorrow may be a challenging day for you when it comes to career and finishing what you start so get you some good rest tonight you can have money blocks so you may not be enthused to do nothing tomorrow but don't let that stop you it's all in your mind it's all in how you feel and depending on how much good sleep you get can really change your mood for better or worse tomorrow. So make sure you get some good sleep tonight. So you ain't got to deal with this tomorrow. I don't see. Yeah. Your sleep. Has a lot to do. With your day tomorrow in general. Your traveling. You can have road rage. I got the sniffles for some reason. You can have road rage. You could be snapping at people at work. Or somebody try you on the wrong day. And this curtain. So, good luck. Try to keep like a, a mild temper. Let's see what's going on with your romance angels. This could be the one. Give your relationship a chance in reverse. Release your ex upright and wedding. So, tomorrow is not the day to be trying to take anybody too serious. Definitely continue to release the past. You could have been married to somebody. This person could have been married. And uh, this could be the one. But I feel like... It, you may think you may think somebody is the one, but they're not because they don't even want you to give it a chance. They want you to release it, especially if it's an ex. I don't think you've met the person you're supposed to be with, Capricorn. I don't think you've met them yet. All right. All right, Sagittarius, what's going on? Let's get into your daily for tomorrow. serendipity and poise you got fork in a row 
you got some decisions to make you could be stuck but i feel like you're gonna make the best choice with poise and serendipity here those are really good cards very positive cards so there's no worries i think tomorrow is gonna be a pretty decent day for you as long as you keep your spirits up you'll be unfucked with the book okay all right, let's see what's going on with your finances. It's not much for me to talk about with those Oracle cards there. I mean, be happy. Shit, I don't know. Be happy. Smile. It's going to be a wonderful fucking day. Okay. All right. So, um, you get, oh yeah, be responsible with your money. Like, don't overspend. Don't just, just because you may have money coming in, but you may be very uh, prone to spend it. Please don't do that. Save your money. Think about retirement. Think about investing. Think about everything except for spending on stupid shit that you don't really need. Even maybe you should take a seminar, pick up on, look up something on YouTube to keep you more skilled for when it comes to like how you spend your money and, and what you invested in or something like that. Because you may need some help with that. Maybe talk to a financial advisor. I see some type of fame, exposure, somebody reputation. You do have potential to make a lot of money, but you spend, yeah, you need to work on not spending your shit. Okay, let's see what the romance angels are saying for you. Healing family issues, new love, and unrequited love so maybe you love somebody that didn't love you now they love you and you don't love them and you focus on the new because it looked like you might have healed something or you need to heal something in order to let go of something unrequited so something new can come in some of y'all need to do it some of y'all didn't already done it so it depends on where you at with this and i love you i'll talk to you later boogie woogie it is fire sign day Scorpio, hey, how you doing? Let's get into your daily for tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. What is going on with Scorpio? Ooh, child, this hair getting on my nerve. Okay, what is going on with Scorpio for tomorrow? Poised, okay. Orphan, TikTok, time for a nap. So, uh, you might have been delaying cutting something off, and now it's getting more annoying. Now it's getting, you know, somebody may be applying pressure, and now you have to apply that pressure and really, like, make a choice on something that might have passed its expiration date. You know you should have been did this, but now you're going to have to go ahead and do it, Scorpio, and somebody going to have to be left out in the cold. Maybe you will feel orphaned in some way or left out in some way. They will, too, but at the end of the day, what is the greatest good? then that's what you need to do, regardless of who feel left out. And you running out of time, running out of patience, and yeah, yeah, something just need to be done. Let's see what's going on with your finances. Damn, give me one second. All right, so you could uh, make, you could be focusing on getting another job. Maybe y'all already got another job. If so, it looks better than what you walked away from. A new strategy, a new job, a new employer, a new organization would help you out a lot and solve a lot of your problems when it comes to money and as well as you learning a new skill. Don't invest in anything right now. Continue to educate yourself tailor your resume do what you need to do to learn the business learn whatever it is that you're trying to conquer uh do not do any emotional spending um but i feel like you have the potential to either update like upgrade to a better job or update your resume or do something on your end that's going to really take you to the next level so you can really be happy about what you do for work if you're not already Romance Angel. You deserve love and a past life relationship. You also have playfulness here and love yourself first. Let go of control issues, Scorpio. Uh, what's for you is definitely for you and what's not, it, I mean, it just ain't. And you'll be all right. It's one of those type of days tomorrow. Love you. All right, Libra. Oh, sorry, I got the sniffles, y'all. I don't know where this is coming from. 
All right, Libra, how are you? Let's see what's going on with you for tomorrow. This is your daily for tomorrow. Oh, my God. I got the sniffles. It is too early for this. <laughs> okay. Chaos and conflict. And to be fair, that's your energy. And you the third sign in the road that they had this fork in the road at the bottom of the deck. So you could be indecisive on, you know, how to like set judgment on something. How to resolve something or making a choice. And whatever you do is going to cause, it's going to be fair to one person and create chaos and conflict for another person. So you have to be Switzerland. You have to do what you feel your truth is. And whoever got chaos and conflict, that's on them. Whoever that you make sure you fair. As long as you fair, whoever that deserve that type of reward, that's their reward. Chaos and conflict. That's something that you can't worry about. You can't make you can't appease both sides somebody is going to be unhappy in this situation so please i mean you just gonna have to get over it and uh whoever this is that's you know involved is gonna have to get over it too it's just the day i don't know what how deep this is but being fair will clear your karma and you can't say nobody else from their karma so you got a lucky break though good fortune tomorrow you could be doing some risky business, um, some type of pleasant surprise when it comes to money or gambling on something, taking a chance on something. Some of you guys could be starting over. You still need to save up. You could be new into the healthcare, insurance, or real estate industry. It looks like a very productive day for you tomorrow, and you're on your way to over I'm sorry, overflowing prosperity and really having a good, lucrative, fulfilled day as far as work and making money. What is the romance angel message for you? Flirt. Romantic feelings. Honeymoon. Chemistry. It, you know what? I don't know where you are when it comes to the connection that you're, you're into right now. But around the holiday, you may be changing your mind. You may meet somebody that uh gets your attention. And uh, distract you from whoever you're dealing with now. If you are single, then hey, it looks like you got options coming in around the holiday. And y'all going to be doing a lot of talking. And this person likes to cuddle. They could have children. Or you. Or both of y'all. I don't know. But boogie woogie. Okay. Virgo, how are you? Let's get into your daily for tomorrow. This is for Virgo. For tomorrow. Uh -oh. Yen and time for a nap. Focus on yourself. Let people make their own choices, Virgo. Do not think for nobody. Don't even take them to the water because more than likely they ain't going to drink the shit no way. How many times have you taken people to the water, Virgo, and they didn't even drink? So it makes you wonder, why did I take your dumb ass to the water if you wasn't going to drink it? And you say you thirsty? So no, I let them find their own damn water well. Let them find whatever it is that they need to do because they'll learn to appreciate stuff a little better versus waiting on you to hold their hand. You attract. You don't chase tomorrow. And you get a lot of rest. Tomorrow is all about you and everybody else. I'm sorry. Fuck them. Okay? And that's just period. All right. Now, let's see. <laughs> Let me give you a prime example. My lips was dry. I did what I had to do to take care of myself. And I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. So I'm going to have me a sip. When you're used to catering to people, they may think that's rude, Virgo. But do you think I give a fuck about that? And I'm encouraging you to do the same thing. It's okay to take care of yourself, okay? It is quite all right to do that. And let them kiss the crack of your ass, okay? Mm -mm. 
What is your finances looking like? Sudden change for the better? You could be having like moving to a new department or just having a new job altogether. Some of you guys, your your stock market is growing, going up or your 401k is going up. You could get approved for a short term loan. I don't know if you're trying to get like a house or like a refinance or even like a car loan. I see that happening. Some type of business plan is making progress and you're overcoming whatever your financial obstacles are and you'll be more happier at work tomorrow. People won't be getting on your nerves. It might not even be a lot of people there to get on your nerves. Maybe you ain't gonna like people tomorrow and lo and behold, ain't nobody there. That's good for you. Sometimes you need a break. And when you get home, go home, go to the spa or something. Like do something for you tomorrow if you can. Oh, go get you some Epsom salt and some candles. That is $2 at the dollar store. Put them tea light candles around your uh, tub and put that Epsom salt in there and get your phone and just zone the fuck out. It's all kind of stuff you can get at the dollar store too. And have a spa day, honey. Okay? Mm -mm. You need to relax. You got new love coming and you need to focus on your finances right now and know that you deserve love not passion people may want to fuck you and stuff and you know have fun with you but you want love and you are you are deserving of that don't settle do not settle you may be offered to go out and have a little fun you better tell them no nope nope leo how are you let's get into your message for tomorrow What is going on with you? You got peace, time for a nap, thinker, breathe, and I ain't take it. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six other cards. Nope, we ain't doing it. We gonna take these four. Peace, time for a nap, thinker, and breathe. So, people gonna try to disturb your peace tomorrow. I think you need to focus on meditating. Some of y'all need to to calm y'all nerves. You could be very analytical tomorrow and you not getting the proper sleep tonight could really affect your productivity tomorrow. So do what you can to take care of your health, you know, take care of your body, get the proper sleep, get you some melatonin or whatever your body responds to as a healthy sleep aid. Talk to a pharmacist, uh, talk to a pharmacist at a pharmacy, okay? Talk to some damn body. Cause y'all be you being sleep deprived will not be a good day for you tomorrow if you if you ain't get got a lot of sleep. What is your finances looking like for tomorrow? Starting over in some kind of way, saving up. That's what you need to do. You may have an unexpected bill tomorrow, so don't spend no money today. As if you know. That you get stuff like auto the uh, withdrew out of your like auto payments where it's just automatically withdrawn from your account at a certain time every month. Create a new strategy when it comes to you making money or saving money and think stuff through before you do any type of, make any type of purchases. And you may get like a small increase, but it, you can do better, but you have to be real with yourself. You're not going to be able to have your cake and eat it too and spend all of this damn money and think, you know, where is it going to come from? So pick and choose your battles financially. Either you got it or you don't. And start putting it up and investing it properly so you ain't going to, so you don't have to run into these type of obstacles. You got a soulmate coming and it's true love. Right now, you need to pay attention to the red flags and release your ex and free your goddamn self. Whoever this is, they are not for you. They are definitely for the streets. I love you and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, let's see. No, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you for tomorrow.
leg up. All that glitters, message in a bottle, and new life. So you starting over, you may be choosing different people for friends, lovers, different opportunities. Spirit is going to help you make the best decision with the leg up because somebody is wearing a mask. This opportunity for work is not what it seems. This person is not what it seems. They may say the right stuff. It may sound good, but it's really not. Either way, you are moving on, but Spirit is going to help you make the right choice on your next adventure because somebody is not being all the way honest with you and you could have an indication of who or what this is but spirit is gonna make it real crystal clear for you so you don't have to waste your goddamn time ain't that a blessing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes Sha -la 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 -la. it is okay you got sealed so yeah this is new if this is a house this is a lease this is a loan what a job something a spiritual like a soul contract it's a contract here uh you will be signing some paperwork or looking at going into some type of contract tomorrow uh look like you will be lucky getting some type of recognition at work or some type of fame if you on social media it looks very productive if you have work whatever you do for money people see your worth they're gonna praise you they're going to give you encouragement and really compliment whatever you are whatever this expertise is that you have whatever this is so it looks good i don't see you struggling enjoy celebrate you had the money to do it the the cancer i'm talking to what's going on with your relationship this could be the one heart to heart conversation and you got forgiven and learning and soulmate. All right, you could be reconciling with somebody that really is your soulmate. And they maybe they had to learn a lesson to see your value. And, uh, you know, for y'all to get on the same page. They could be the one. But if they don't do what you need them to do, you have another soulmate that you can talk to. This ain't your only soulmate. They need to get the lesson and learn it and know how to handle you. And, you know... And go through what they need to go through to be able to appreciate you before y'all can move forward. All right, Gemini, thank you so much. Um, let's see what's going on with you for tomorrow. act like they don't want to shuffle exchanging gifts which is good what's your next one to be fair okay so you got good karma coming in gemini in the form of money or somebody exchanging something good with you this could be a gift a physical gift money something wrapped up in a box you know like a real actual gift or this could be like something that the universe is blessing you with because you've done something that they asked you to do and they proud of your efforts so this looks good what does your finances look like a libra could be involved oh yeah something is going upward a job could be calling you back to hire you with more money in a better position you could be getting a promotion but your connections is benefiting you big time tomorrow you climbing up the ladder in something and again if this got something to do with a gift from spirit or a gift from somebody because i got gift again here giving and receiving getting some type of sudden windfall somebody people being generous to you tomorrow gemini and this is going to be a really it's going to be a pleasant surprise. You get some type of financial support. This is really good. It came out twice, so that's very auspicious to me. Congratulations. Let's see what your romance angel message is for tomorrow. Past life relationship. No, it's in reverse career and finances is what you need to focus on tomorrow playfulness is in reverse you don't have time to play with people get ready for the holiday start thinking about what you want to do for the holiday 
you might end up finding your new lover or like somebody that you would at least expect would be attracted to you or you attracted to them around the holidays or around the time you getting ready for the holidays and spirits say please give this motherfucker a chance god damn give him a chance the card say give your relationship a chance but you you know how i do shit okay love you okay hey taurus how are you good morning <laughs> let's get into your daily for tomorrow oh oh, oh lord You got all that glitters, thinker, and yen. So somebody is not in their right energy. And I ain't even trying to be funny. So uh uh Taurus masculines, the person that's supposed to be in a masculine energy is in the yen energy, and this is why something is just not coming together, okay? The, the people that's in the yin energy is in the masculine energy. And that's not their place. It's not coming together because somebody don't want to accept their role in this or they don't know their role. The person that think they supposed to be attracting is the one that's really supposed to be going out there going to get it. And the person that's going out there to get it is the one that should be sitting somewhere attracting. So you tell me. Because somebody doing too much and the other motherfucker ain't doing enough. And one of y'all need to think about this shit. Because somebody is real close if they ain't already looking real stupid. Because whoever that they dealing with is wearing a fucking mask. All that glitters. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. Let's get into your finances. I should not be getting emails this early. Nobody even should be up. <clears throat> I'm the only one logged in. <clears throat> and once I'm done with this, I'm going to exercise. So, I don't know. Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, I got financial relief coming for you. Somebody that loves you is going to look out for you. I see your job being secure. If you have a business, that's growing too. You're about to discover some type of hidden position. Hidden, not position, but hidden potential that you have when somebody apply that pressure. Somebody is going to bring the beast out of you and apply pressure. Get a lock on your credit report or something like that. Somebody could be trying to like do identity fraud on you tomorrow. So be careful. Don't leave your stuff around. If you lost a wallet or a purse with all your information in it, you should lock it. You should get your stuff locked because somebody may be trying to be all up in your business and put all kind of shit in your name. Okay, you got to pay attention to the red flags. Chemistry. Let your friends help you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation and true love. Taurus, tomorrow, have be honest with yourself. Who are you giving your undivided attention to that really ain't shit and somebody that you should be ignoring? Who are you spending, uh, who are you avoiding that you really need to talk to that you really love? Are your friends helping you or are they helping you make something right? Or are they helping sabotage something? Are they really your friends? Friends! How many of us have them? Friends! The ones we can depend on. I don't know if you can depend on these people. Okay? Some of these red motherfucking flags is coming from them. All right? Love you. Fix that shit immediately. All right. Aries, what's up, baby? Last but not least, because we went backwards today. But let's get into your uh, daily for tomorrow. All right. keep looking back at my screen like somebody there i'm the only person here okay uh round and round why and milk and honey please 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 before you take that leap of faith 
Think about who you're doing it with. Think about do do as many background checks, Aries, as you possibly need to, because something is not what it's caked up to be. Milk and honey, I look at that as it being you, okay? Or an opportunity that somebody is trying to present as milk and honey that is putting you on a karmic wheel of bullshit, and it's gonna have you in your goddamn hand, and, you know, holding your damn head with your hand like why? You may have questions and they need answers. Uh, you don't want to do something and, and end up regretting it. So tomorrow is about fact checking, especially when it comes to business and people keeping their promises because it's a rainbow here. You know, we need to play the game. You do what I say do first. And if I, you know, if I see that you can keep your word, then I'll do what I need to do. Don't be just going off anything just off consignment or what somebody say. They need to give you some type of act of good faith before you commit to whatever this is from a business aspect or just take their word. This could have something to do with a lover that ain't got shit, knowing that you hold all the keys and you got the money. And nah, they're going to have to do some enroll in school. Let me know what your first day of work, when your first day of work is. We can talk after I see that first check stub or something like that. Somebody, you're going to have to let them know you're not fucking playing with them, Aries. Spiral, you moving up. See what I'm saying? You moving up. Your connections, your line of work, what you know is taking you places. You have an opportunity to build like some strong earning power, especially if you're in corporate America. You're on your way to some type of leadership. You could be going from an analyst to a senior, from a senior to a uh, project manager from a project manager to a program manager from a program manager to a director so you moving up in some kind of way and i like it okay be careful your constructive criticism could really piss somebody off and they could try to get you fired so you know be careful with that let's see what's going on with y'all romance angel messages getting to know each other so yeah you need to get to know somebody better new love new old and you should start dating out your race you could be biracial you could be into people that are biracial maybe you're not but maybe the thing that you're running away from be the thing that'll treat you right and make you reevaluate your whole life don't put yourself in some type of you know just one soul you know solid box when it come to love expand your options in the love pool because you could be missing out on something just because y'all don't say hello in the same language come here don't fuck this up all right, love you. I'll talk to y'all later. It is fire sign day. We in this thing. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a lovely day.